Throughout history, there have been various styles of fighting for war, self-defense, and more. One of these is Bartitsu. Bartitsu is a unique blend of various self-defense techniques that were popular in Europe during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The style gets its name from its developer, Edward William Barton Wright, creating the portmanteau Bartitsu a British engineer and martial artist who wanted to create a system that combined the best techniques from a range of different styles. Bartitsu is often considered to be one of the first mixed martial arts and is considered a precursor to today's modern MMA. It's a combination of jiu-jitsu, boxing, cane fighting, savate, judo and more and is designed to be used in real-world self-defense situations. One of the key principles of Bartitsu is to use an opponent's strengths and momentum against them, much like in Jiu Jitsu. The art also emphasizes strikes such as punches and kicks, as well as grappling techniques like throws and submissions. The use of the cane as a weapon is also a distinct aspect of Bartitsu, and it was considered a useful tool for self defense in an era where carrying a cane was common practice. In addition to its practical self-defense applications, Bartitsu was also popular as a form of exercise and was considered a fashionable pastime for the upper classes. There is also historical evidence to suggest that Bartitsu was in fact taught to the suffragette movement to help with the continued struggle. More than this, it also found its way into popular culture through Arthur Conan Doyle adding it to the character of Sherlock Holmes, rewording it slightly to be Baritsu, to explain how he beat Professor Moriarty at the Rackenbach Falls. Today, Bartitsu is experiencing a revival with a growing community of practitioners and enthusiasts who are dedicated to preserving and promoting the art. Whether you're looking to learn self-defense, improve your fitness, or just want to explore a unique, fascinating part of martial arts history, Bartitsu is definitely worth checking out. In fact, you can see it in the Robert Downey Jr. version of Sherlock Holmes, where Bartitsu was used in the choreography of the character. If you'd like to see more videos discussing martial arts, history, and much more, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.